What's up YouTube? Welcome to this tutorial on the Bloom Effect in Blender Compositor. Now, this is a highly requested tutorial, so I finally figured it out and I will do it. Now, what is Bloom Lighting? Um, well, first off, if I just go do a Google search of Unreal Engine Bloom, you'll recognize it. If you've played any game that uses the Unreal Engine, such as Gears of War or whatever, uh, you know what bloom lighting is. <laughs> really, please trust me. Um, it's everywhere, you know. It's this kind of glow that you get around things. Um, uh, this is a good effect. Where you see there's a light, but then there's kind of this glow. There's kind of this blur around it. Uh, is this Harry Potter? I didn't know they used it really. No, anyways, um... If you look at the windows, they're kind of, it's kind of blurred, the edges are, the light kind of overflows. And um, that's very similar to how a camera reacts. Um, I have some of my own examples here. You can see this is what we're going to be making, uh, where you kind of see that halo, you see uh, the really strong glare off the monkey in the glass globe. It's all blown out. That's what bloom lighting is. And as you can see here, this is a very crisp edge on this grate. Um, this is just a really quick test scene. But, um, but you can see the bloom kind of overflows uh, into the lighting, which can be tricky to do in something like Photoshop or something because you'd have to select every single one. But this is very easy in the Blender Compositor. So, um, first off, download the packaged image because, or download the package that I set up the demo package because we will be using that image and your values might be a little different so uh, yeah just be bear that in mind that you're gonna have to adjust these things a little differently so if you're using a render layer then by all means keep the render layer but I'm gonna delete that and add in a where do I go image sorry I'm used to searching I'm trying not to do that that much but now open the image so I think this is where mine's located now mine's named HGRI test but yours will be something different like I don't know sample image or something um, but now we're gonna do the average things and set this up where we have a viewer whoops why did that I want a viewer and then I want a hero I'm used to nuke where you hit tab to add things. So I keep hitting tab and I think that like re-renders something or I'm not really sure. But now switch over to viewer node and unlike past versions, the viewer node will not just pop up. You have to hit F12 and uh, yeah, it'll do something and go give you the accurate viewer node. So grab Y, um, you know, mess with this of course. Um, but now that we have that set up, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a map value and don't drop that into your main timeline or your main flow uh, duplicate a viewer and we're going to be working off of this viewer so first thing you realize is it's black and white um, that's because map values is just between the values so you really don't have to worry about that uh, but it's all black and white it's between 0 and 1 and now check, use minimum, use maximum. Um, I don't know why you have to check these, but it really helps in what we're doing. I was recording this earlier, and I did not know you had to check one of those, and it really saved me a lot of time. So really, the only setting you have to adjust is hit shift, because if you drag this down, you're gonna notice it gets really dark really fast. So hit shift and drag, and that'll give you a lot more control. But it all depends what effect you want, but what you're gonna try to do is you're gonna try to isolate just the very high, high highlights, um, the very high points, and that should be it. Uh, press home to center again. Now, sometimes if this is gray, you have you're gonna have to add in a brightness contrast just to get rid of the gray and turn it to black. But now we are going to add a blur. 
Now there are two ways to do this. Um, one's a little more accurate, but one's a little brighter. So keep that in mind. Uh, we haven't reached that point where they split off, so this is going to serve both ways. But um, yeah, you'll see, I'll tell you. But a blur of 8 works. I'm using a new keyboard, so the keys are a little different sizes, and uh, not really used to it yet. But now, let's move this a little bit. Hit Shift A, add in a mix. Now, after you add in this mix, this is where the two ways split. Um, one way is to just add this on top of this with a screen. And now, you can see you get a little bit of a bloom effect. Um, I, you know, it's good, but the problem is you're just getting white on top of it, and there are a bunch of different colors that are not white. Um, so it's not, it'll serve you well, but it's not accurate. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to drop in a gamma node. Now, don't worry about this. Um, set this to like 0.1. Uh, we're going to blow this out a lot, actually 0.2, because we still want some of those colors in. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to drag these down. We're going to mix the gamma into the second slot, the image into the first slot, let's change this back to mix, and then we are going to use the matte value as the factor. And if we do that, you can see we get a lot better results. But I'm going to change this. I'm going to change the, let's see what happens if I lower the maximum. Whoops, I'm gonna do that. It's two one. Uh, we, we'll just keep it subtle. May, oh, you also want to drop gamma. Make sure you click that gamma check. That's what I was missing. And then hit viewer. And you can see that gamma really adds a lot to it, um, to the blur. And now we have our bloom effect. Uh, if you duplicate this viewer, let's select this and then just, huh, I guess it won't let me do that in this version. Uh, if you duplicate this viewer and just switch back and forth, you can see the 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 duress the big difference I can't say words for some reason it's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon I just woke up <laughs> but anyways so you can see the big difference between the two um, it's much more like a camera it adds it's it adds one of those effects similar to chromatic aberration or dirt and scratches on the ones it just really helps sell whatever render you are because renders look fake when you first render them no matter what no matter how realistic the lighting is a render is going to look fake so you have to do this do something to it this is great lens flares are great um but these this doesn't really have a tutorial out there so i decided to do this next week i will be going over more of a realistic diffuse material probably because the diffuse material in cycles is uh, too flat even very diffuse materials have a little bit of gloss to them and I will show you how to make a pretty realistic uh, diffuse material so again these pro uh, this will be in the project files to download um, and if you have any requests for future tutorials like this was one of the requested tutorials leave those in the comments below and I will be sure to get to them. As always, see you next week.